So, as we've been reporting, the number of confirmed COVID-19 cases around the world has now easily, easily surpassed 105,000 and continues to grow by the day. Governments are scrambling to respond to this threat to public health and researchers are working to develop a vaccine. But how close are they to success and how close are they to actually getting it onto the market. Oseong tells us more. Can a vaccine for COVID-19 be developed within a year? Scientists around the world are scrambling to come up with an effective way to build immunity against the novel coronavirus. This involves replicating a small portion of the virus, which comes in the form of a single-strand RNA enclosed in a spike protein that binds and infects a cell. While many expect it to take at least 12 months before an effective vaccine is available for use, a lab at the UK's Imperial College is aiming to have a vaccine available within a year. It became the first place in the world outside China to start animal trials with a candidate vaccine. Senior fellow researcher Paul McKay says the lab's platform meant it could work quickly based around the genetic sequence of the virus. Um, and so COVID was just a, another uh, stretch of genetic information that we were able to put into our platform and quickly make a vaccine. There's nothing particularly strange or unusual about coronaviruses. In fact, there, there are coronaviruses that are naturally present in people all the time. But and because this is a new one, that's why it looks different. He also said fears that the virus would evolve rapidly may be ungrounded. This is a story that, that was, there was two different strains that were circulating, but we're not really sure that it's actually mutating very quickly. Um, it's not like uh, other viruses like influenza mutates very quickly. Um, so COVID-19 does not seem to be doing that. The biggest challenge is getting through the lengthy regulatory procedures. And we would be able, I, I believe, to um, start a human clinical trial in June and then get results from that by uh, late summer, and then we would need to start an efficacy trial, and that's the big one. Scores of companies and research institutions around the world are now working on vaccines and treatments for COVID-19. In Korea, 50 medical firms, including Celtrion and Korea United Farm, have either started or are preparing to start developing drugs. The Korea National Institute of Health is also leading research on developing key substances for vaccines. Oh Seung Arirang News.